and I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. In this episode, we are back on Hog Island. If you've been watching us for a while, you'll know that this island is absolutely infested with hogs. On this trip, you've got myself, Seth, Tyler, and Jeremy all hunting. And the fun part is we've split up into two teams for a little friendly competition. You've got myself and Tyler, the young guys, and Seth and Jeremy, we're calling them the old guys. And how it works is we're doing one point for every pig and two points for the biggest pig, and the team with the most points at the end wins. We've got three full sits on this hunt. We have two afternoon sits and one morning sit. So there should be a lot of action and a lot of pigs. But I want you all to leave a comment right now as for what team you think is going to win, team old guys or team new guys. All right, let's get into the action. What's your prediction for the old guys today? You reek fryer grits. No I'm going to say we're going to probably hit five and recover. We're going to recover one. six. Six. <laughs> shoot five and recover six. We're going to shoot two in one shot. That's my prediction. What about young guys? Um, I'd be happy with two or three tonight. Two or three tomorrow. I don't like your confidence. They're shooting six. We're shooting two or three. Well, I, I haven't like been six. here you before. Check your sight. Yeah. And your rest. I like his confidence too. <laughs> That's Tyler for you. How many are you gonna shoot? Uh, one and a half, maybe two. Then come back with four. All right, we are getting set up for the first evening. Tyler and I are gonna be in a tree together. I've got my saddle on. These guys, I don't know what their plan is. We don't really care what they're doing. We're gonna go shoot some pigs and they're gonna go try. So I gotta tell you all, the main rule, if you shoot a pig and it's not on camera, it doesn't count. And I'm saying that because Seth is behind the camera for the old guys today. How far out does our camera zoom out? <laughs> I got four cameras. Do we I got, got four cameras going tonight, so do we, have we a should catch it on something. We have a nifty 50. <laughs> All right, we're getting loaded up. See you in the trees.
feel like the bigger ones were a little more leery. But that's two down. There was a lot more pigs that time, so it was a little bit harder to find a good time to draw. But we got two arrows down out there, two pigs hopefully down. I know the first one's down, second one touch back. Might have just been lungs. I might have missed the heart, but hopefully we'll find them both. And we still probably got another, I don't know, hour or so of light. So I'm going to knock another arrow and we're going to ride it out till dark. come in they keep skirting us and they keep going to my right I'm a right handed shooter I can't shoot to my right <laughs> without turning the only one that I have to sit still was facing me the entire time there's a bunch of hogs here they're very skittish.
right below you. Right, guys it's dark as you can tell what a heck of a crazy night we had lots of hogs around they just kept circling us all night I don't know if it was our wind was swirling or maybe just the pressure of hunting maybe in the past couple weeks but we got one down everything that did come in kept coming to my right which was weird you know, I'm a right-hand shooter, so you obviously you know you shoot over to your left, but we managed to get an arrow through one, so let's go see what we can find. Arrow looks good. The old 200 grain, tough head wide. I think I hear the tractor now. So uh, what do you want to do? You want to just sit here and wait? Mm -hmm. Look and see if you want see him blood. Well, that light's so bright, I'm about blinded right now. Wish you would have ran a little closer to the road, huh? Well, I don't, <laughs> the road, let me see. I don't think the road's too far. Y'all stand right here for a second. Well, I guess the old guys now got to get it loaded up and get back. I think we're about two or three pigs behind. We're two or three pigs behind, but that probably outweighs all theirs. Probably. Wouldn't you think? Yeah. So. Well, let's get her loaded up. Little chompers there. All right. All right, so we just climbed down. It's time for Tyler to get to tracking. Yeah. Um, we're gonna collect some arrows up and then we're gonna wait on the guides to get here before we start going back into the into the thick stuff after these things. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, we were pretty confident in that first one. What do you got, Tyler? Got one down, we're on the board, team. Young guns. This was the first one, the one we were probably most confident in. Oh yeah. Good eater, good shot there. Is that our new kind of prototype that we were working on a little bit with this week? A lot of blood, good cut, good shot. First pig down. Well, we just found the second one, thanks to Buck. I didn't have to give him a treat, but he's got that deep in the palmettas as it looks like. So Austin's gonna grab him out of there. See where you hit this one. This was this was the exit of the side, I think. <laughs> That's a pretty fun. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was the thing. That was the one we were looking for. Alright. That's two on the board for Team Young Guns. <laughs> nice little haul. Yeah, so we got some decent little teeth. Yeah. You've been wanting little teeth. Yeah. That one That's could, all we heard. That Ten hours down here. I decent want, skull. I want to shoot some teeth. <laughs> all right. Well, we just went after the third one. 
Um, thought I made a good shot through both shoulders, but I think what happened was it was a little forward and just kind of missed all the vitals and just a meat hit. We tracked blood for a little ways, head buck on him, um, tracked, you know, 150, 200 yards and just no more blood and buck wasn't turning anything up. So we're going to chalk that one up to poor shot placement by me and it's unfortunate, but these pigs are a little skittish and it happens sometimes. So we got two of them in the truck. Jeremy got one and we're going to go back to camp, get some grub and we'll get back at it in the morning. I got some nice set of nuts on them. Two gels? Kind of gels. Throw them in the fryer tonight. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to be in the lead for the biggest hog? Well, so far, so good. Uh, it was pretty cool, man. I mean, he's got some good cutters on him. For, I guess, where we're at, wouldn't you think there's, that's I mean, a pretty I mean, good size one? Pretty we saw a bunch of them. That was probably the biggest that we've seen. And he was running them all off everywhere, so it was pretty cool. So when we run our way over the skinning shed, we realized that even though we killed two hogs to their one, we're tied because Jeremy shot the biggest hog so far, which means they get two points to R2 for the two smaller hogs. So I we got we work gotta, to do tomorrow. I think we got to get the scale out. His looks a little skinny. <laughs> it does look a little skinny. He's got a big old belly on it. Just ate the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Eight. I'm in here. All right. Hit me. <laughs> we can't let them get any advantages. I think at this point we need to give them some advantages. <laughs> I don't want to get cocky. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta put, put a good, good morning in. All right. Tyler and I just got set up. We're in a new stand. In the past three years, I've never been to this one, so it's completely new to me. From what they told us, the marsh is just probably 100 yards that way. So, hoping pigs are coming off the marsh from feeding, maybe come back through this way and grab a bite of corn on their way. But I'm hoping to shoot about four pigs this morning, and I don't care if they're piglets or big boars. So. Originally, when I hit that one, I was a little worried, but based on his reaction and then where I could see the fletching sticking out of him, I think that was better than what I originally thought it was. That's a pretty big pig, dude. Yeah. That spot of him was just about to get broadside, and then I heard those other yeah, ones walking around. That was pretty cool. We saw, so that first pig, or the one I shot, he came in originally and just kind of stayed off to the side. We saw these other ones coming in. I was like, okay, I'm going to shoot the spotted one. But then as soon as they came in and started to feed, he was like, you know what? I'm not letting them get all the corn. And he went in there. It seemed like a good boar. That looked like a pretty good boar. Um, Watch it back real quick, maybe. Yeah. It, was, it looked a little high, but I think I got in there. Based on the, like the left and left right, and right was fine. I feel like you had to get long at yeah. least. You could hear it kind of, you yeah, could hear him kind of like. He had a good pop and when he, he was, was running off, he was. Like you could hear like the gargling. Yeah, he was hurting. Yeah. He broke my arrow. <laughs> I thought I heard it, but I was trying to watch on the camera, and it's hard yeah. to... Yeah. Okay, I'm going to watch that back. Yeah. Okay. So, we're just sitting here kind of killing Tom, and no matter how many times I've 
shot animals or studied their anatomy after I shoot something. I seem to always like pull up the anatomy on the internet. Oh, is it like that? And based on these pictures here, what I'm looking at, I think I double lunged that pig there. So that makes me feel a little bit better. I don't know, just trying to kill time, waiting on the guys to get here. I'm dying to get out of here and look for this pig. And I'm ready for lunch. He carried it a long ways. Yeah. I was sitting there, I was like, man, I found an old arrow. <laughs> I touched it, it was wet. <laughs> All right, guys, so we tracked that pig for a long time, and unfortunately, he went into the marsh. We had good blood all the way out to the marsh, and when they get out there, there's just nothing you can do about it. You really can't recover them. There's no way to get out there to them. It's unfortunate, but it's part of what happens when you're hunting on an island. Since I didn't recover my hog, that leaves us tied two to two, team old guys versus team young guys. Old guys shot one hog, but it was the biggest one, so it counts for two points. And then Tyler shot two yesterday evening. So we're tied going into episode two of this hunt that'll come out after this one. Leave a comment now. Who do you think's gonna win before you find out next week? <laughs>